here we go again. Um, slightly delayed. Oh, what's the feeling in the camp at the moment, Russ? Um, I think we just want to get started now. I think uh, we're all very excited to get started. I think last week was a bit of an anti-climax. It's um, when you build up to something mentally and physically for six weeks and then it's taken away and you're not doing it. It has, it has an effect on everyone. I think you'd be lying if you said it didn't. Um, but this week's been really good. We uh, obviously had a couple of sort of in-house games and practice matches and uh, one on Tuesday. So everyone's really, everyone's ready, physically really ready and mentally more than ready after last week's delay to uh, to get going. I spoke to uh, Scott Cuthbert at Stevenage last week and I, I said, do you, do you still look forward? He said, I look forward even more as I'm becoming older and more experienced player. Is it the same for you? You know, every season you yeah, you just want to be out there? I honestly don't know how long I'm going to play for. I, I, I absolutely love it. I wouldn't be playing now if I didn't, if I wasn't enjoying it, if I'm being honest. So, um... I will carry on enjoying it as long as I can, but I think he's right. I think you save it, you save it that little bit more. You enjoy it that little bit more. I took a bit of extra time after last season, just playing on a pitch with my kids and stuff. Because mm. you know, I, I don't know how many more times I'll get to experience that again. So it's things like that that you become much more aware of, um, especially during pre-season. You even start to enjoy that a little bit. Cause you're thinking, you know, not not too many more of these left. So you enjoy it as much as you possibly can. But um, yeah, I think you become well aware of time running out, if you like. Um, not to say that that's always in your in your thoughts you know I might be coming towards the end because it's not but there's, there's certain moments that you do uh, and the start of the season and pre-season is, is definitely one of them and you you must be boosted as a as a human being after performing so well at the tail end of last season and achieving what you achieved as an individual and with the team yeah I think any promotion whatever league it's from uh, achieving some of that together as part of a team it's a, it's a brilliant feeling really it's what I came here for I said at the start uh, it took a while to get fit and get going again but I felt I got better as I, said, I didn't want it was weird you didn't want the season to end because yeah. we, we, were, we were enjoying it that much as a group and um, the fact we got promoted just sort of made it makes it all worthwhile really uh, and it's um, I said said before the game some players can go through their career without, without experience something like that once you know a huge crowd like this a final day game with that much tension that much riding on it it was almost like a player final you know yeah. so um, yeah it was a special day special occasion but unfortunately football moves on really quickly so as, as, as much as you enjoy it you then have to you then have to, you know, enjoy it for a week or two, and then move on and concentrate on on the next season, which is where we find ourselves now. Well, that's where we do find ourselves, and I suppose, you know, footballers and management never give too much away about targets and what they want to achieve. But what do you think this football club is capable of in League One? Um, what I'd say is I think we've really strengthened the squad from last year. Um, we want to be competitive, and we want to enjoy it, and we want to get the people who come to watch us enjoy it. I think the, the way mm. we play football is the right way. I think it's attacking, it's entertaining to watch. I think if you look from where players were at the start of last season to, to where they are now, the players that are already in the building like Callum Britton and people like that have improved dramatically. So you want that again. I think we just want to improve. I think we want to get better as a, as a team and see see our younger individuals, our younger players get much better. And who knows where that will take us? You know, we haven't set any targets at the minute saying we're going to get promoted, we're going to get in the playoffs and all that. So I think we want to improve and we want to be more than competitive at this level against every team. So we'll uh, we'll wait and see. I'm, I'm, we're all looking forward to it and we're optimistic, you know, about how we what we can achieve. All those new players now settled in. I mean, that's always yeah. when there are so many new signings yeah. and so many introductions to the club. It can sometimes take a while, but you know, just looking around the place, it all seems to have gone quite well. Yeah, the benefit of an extra week as well. Yeah. Get to know us a bit better, another week, and and what the manager wants. Because um, Tiz isn't, I'd say, he's not your typical manager in, in how he sees the game and how he how he what he wants from his players. So obviously that takes a while to get used to. Um, but they've been great, really good lads. There's no, I think that's a, the beauty of our group is there's no ego. There's a real togetherness, and people talk about it all the time, team spirit, and that. But that showed at the end of last season. I think we we, act, we had, actually had a chance to show it, and we did. Um, and I think they've just added to that. They're really good lads, um, good players. I said that already. They've strengthened us in terms of footballing ability, but also off the pitch, what they bring. So, I think it's been a really good summer for the football club. Um, whatever happens in the next few weeks, you know, going forward, it's in a, in a much better position than it has been for a long time. The manager described you as his signing of last season. Is that? Well, it must be a big pat on the back for yourself. Yeah, I did, I, yeah. I think, my, I think my dad told me that something, something after the season. I didn't see it to be honest. I, I went away straight after the season. So um, yeah, it's always nice to hear stuff like that. I think, as I said, um, as you get older, you uh, look out less for that sort of stuff and sort of know when you, you know when you've done well and when you've not done so well. And to be honest, my, my son's my biggest critic now, so he tells me <laughs> I don't score enough goals apparently. So um, and yeah. what did he think of your performances yeah, last season? I think he enjoyed the end of like, the last game, but. Uh, no, yeah, listen, it's always nice to hear that. I've really enjoyed working for him. Um, 
I've learned loads, a lot more than I thought I would in a short space of time, um, which was another one of the reasons I came here after speaking to people who'd worked with him before and uh, continue to do so. So like I said, all the time I'm enjoying it and contributing on the pitch and around the place and at the training ground, um, hopefully you know, he'll, he'll enjoy having me here. Um, you obviously know League One from last season as well. What what can be what can we expect from League One compared to League Two? Um, I, don't, I think the top top end of League Two last year was not too dissimilar to, to probably the bottom half of League One, mid table League One. I think what what you can expect there are some real big teams in it. Um, there's some teams with they'll be really organised, really structured, um, which might at times suit us better I think a lot of the time in League 2 teams sort of waited to see what we would do and react off it I think this year you'll have teams would be much more proactive in trying to implement their style of play or, or the, what they want to do um, at the start of a game early especially away from home so I think that'll be the biggest change is we might have to adapt a little bit more at times rather than us just dominating in terms of style uh, and, and influencing the game I think might be a little shift there from time to time. We have to adapt to that, and I think we've been working on that a lot in uh, pre-season. So it's probably the biggest difference is, is the shift in mentality from teams, especially when we're going away from home. Rather than them maybe playing to not get beat, they might be you know going all out in the way they want to play, and it'll be us adapting. So it, it'll be interesting, and it'll be good, and it'll be a, it will step up, and uh, I think everyone's looking forward to it. Can Dons afford to come into the season thinking, oh, we're new to this league, maybe consolidate for a year and then move on, or is it? full pedal to the metal uh, we're not thinking like that as a group of players and I don't think so I don't think anyone's going to be safe and just say oh yeah well, you know we're, we're, we're doing okay we're mid table or we're bottom half but we're doing alright we're going to stay in the league it's, I don't think it's like that at all I think we want to come in and, and have an impact and, and as I said be competitive in every game so if we're going to do that I don't think we can have that mindset of just coming into the league and going oh, that's alright we came up last year let's just let's just settle for that we've got momentum from last year we've got belief we've got a good squad good spirit so we'll see where it takes us